and welcome to the Fulda Gap, West Germany, 1989. I am Mark, the man behind the curtain, and tonight, uh, wanting to try out a game that's been on my radar for quite a while now. Uh, quite a while now. Jeez, I need a drink. Regiments. This is uh, one of the contenders, I guess we can say, for the throne of uh, War Game Red Dragon. Uh, there's Regiments, there is Warno, which is the one made by Eugen Systems. And then there's another one that I can't seem to remember. Broken Arrow, maybe? Anyhow, yeah, I want to try it out, because I love the genre and I love the Cold War. So, uh, yeah, this is the playtest. I believe the full game is going to be out later this year. So, it's on Steam right now if you want to give it a shot yourself. But, uh, let's uh, jump into it. I'm going to bring up the full screen here. All right, I've tried this a few times and my success rate is non-existent. So maybe trial number three is going to be the way to do it. Uh, so this is one of the, I guess, scenarios, campaign, missions, whatever you want to call them. Uh, Operation Firebird. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll try a Russian accent. Why not? Cardinal. Nope, can't do it. Uh, no, I, I can't. Okay, I, I, I got another right mindset. For, for the Soviet Union. For the Soviet Union. Colonel, there are strong indications that NATO is preparing a general counteroffensive by Crocky. Well, our first echelon forces are depleted, and the logistics are strained to the limit. Front command needs more time to regain combat effectiveness. Our division will buy that time. Our objective is the Kerchain Forward Air Base immediately to our front. Nearby, Marburg is serving as a rallying point for the bleeding forces of the three German Corps. First U.S. reforging units are also expected to arrive soon. A bold strike against the air base will threaten this massive reorganizational effort, and will force NATO to react immediately, rerouting capable forces from other areas. Your 40th Motorized Rifle Regiment received a lion's share of recent reinforcements. You will be our battering ram against the 2nd Panzer Division positions. Division positions, jeez, okay. Protecting the Keratin Air Force Base. The enemy is heavily entrenched and has emplaced obstacle belts. 448th Rocket Brigade will provide missile strikes against enemy strongholds on your command. Use the precious touch, touch, touch cards wisely. The operation starts at 8 a.m. Front expects only success. There's no one else to do it. Don't let them down, Bar Crocky. All right. So we got to preemptively strike NATO positions to blunt their mobilization efforts. Uh, all right. Hard, master, easy. Yeah, let's do medium difficulty. I feel like the, that's the lowest difficulty I can do without being shamed too hard, right? Oh, and before we get any further into this, thank you for those of you who followed and or subscribed during the countdown. Very much appreciated. Um, yeah, so let's uh, jump into this. I should say, I am by no means an expert in this. I've only played it for like probably under an hour. But uh, I don't know. Maybe the spirit of Lennon will see me through. So I'm the 40th Motor Rifle Regiment. I have 400 operational authority. Hey, the narrator cheering some bits. Thank you kindly. Saying the Australian Soviet Socialist Republic, or the ASSR. Hell yeah, boy, Crocky. All right, so what do I got? I got some recon uh, BRMs, or okay, T-64 tanks. My favorite tank, so that's good. Uh, some riflemen, what do we got? We got fire support. We got, oh, hey. And thanks for following. Thanks for hosting the stream there, Corset LaBelle and uh, White Rhino. Very much appreciated. All right. But I got to get through this, don't I? Man, too much stuff happening today. <laughs> All right. We got some uh, anti air. We got some mortars. We got artillery, more artillery and supply, plus artillery smoke and TBM strikes. Is that the name of something that I don't recognize? Or is that like to be, to be made? I don't know. All right. But we can also bring in some other stuff. Okay, we can bring in a recon task force, a mechanized task force, a different mechanized, a command group, an armored task force, armored task force. I think I want to do command because from what I understand, bringing in command units makes all your other stuff fight better. How, I don't know. And what that means in gameplay terms, I don't know. But uh, command group, let's do it. Uh, next up... We got more T-64s. We got T-72s and T-55s. That's damn tempting. Especially since this is going to cost me 175. Uh, 
yeah let's do let's bring in the east germans they they need uh their shot in the sun and then mechanized or recon i feel like recon's important but i also think that i need a lot of riflemen these are btrs nah i don't like btrs i kind of want to do bmps or huh you know what i'm gonna be i'm gonna do recon i feel like knowing where stuff is is gonna be important Okay. Uh, here we go. Okay, what's the wait? What's this? Uh, recon focus, an extra recon tack is available. That's good. An extra barrage tack is available. That's good. Two actually things of divisional division artillery, and an enemy battle group is on route. I wonder if this is affected by the stuff I chose. Like if I had taken different stuff, would there be different amounts of artillery available? Who can say? Actually, couldn't I just find out right now? Nah, let's deal with that. Let's just uh, get into it. To battle. Wait, do I need to... Oh, oh! I gotta select one. Uh, this seems bad. So, divisional artillery. New objective received. Okay, so we're starting here. We can also start here, I suppose. Here's my allies. And my objectives are all these red squares. The narrator's saying, having good tanks and troops means nothing if you can't find the enemy. I agree. I think people underestimate recon. At least in games like this. I can't speak from personal experience, having not been in a war. Okay, but... Uh... Bring in HQ first. Actually, does it tell me what this does? Command oversees the operation of units in close vicinity, drastically improving their performance. Uh, okay. We'll figure that out later. What else can I bring in? Uh, I guess we need some T-64s, right? I like T-64s. And we'll do two things at T-64. Uh, and then Recon. And then Riflemen. Assault Engineers. Assault Engineers I like. Okay. And then maybe some Artillery. If we can afford it. Maybe just some smaller Mortars. I don't think we can afford anything better. Okay, that seems good enough for now. We'll see what I can call in as, as required here. All right, so we got the HQ. Oh, I don't suppose I can actually change where these things spawn. Eh? They're just kind of, they're stuck there. Okay. All right, Recon is gonna go up to this tree line, scout things out. HQ is gonna hang back. On the secondary tree line. We'll make sure we're not running into anything nasty. Yeah, that seems like a good, good solid plan. Scout out here, we hold the line here, and then as soon as we know what's up, we'll send dudes in. What could go wrong? Nothing. Alright, they have, they have seen something. Oh, that's uh, anti-air. Okay, well, I got no air, so jokes on them. Yeah, we're gonna fuck him up good. Okay, but we also got some tank traps and barbed wire. That's no good. Can I turn off attacking? Hold fire. Yeah, I don't want that thing to shoot. I don't know how this works if it's like Red Dragon, but I don't want this thing giving away. It's, uh... Oh man, we got some planes coming in. Hell yeah. Good thing we knocked out those AA guys. Ooh, but they got stuff over here. Okay. What a nightmare. We've also got some leopards <clears throat> dug in. Man, they're not messing around. Okay, so let's uh, bring up the T-64s. That's what's up. And the HQ BMP. 
And where's my assault engineers? Presumably you got to be good against tank traps, right? Being assault engineers and whatnot. Memphis Bell saying, when the tanks become static bunder, bunkers like intended. Yeah, I mean, they're really... <laughs> they're not exactly showcasing their maneuverability at this stage. Oh yeah, but we're, uh, we're cleaning up. I think they're out of here. Get back to Dusseldorf, you fox. All right, that's what's up. We've also broken through this first, uh, barricade here. Man, I would have loved to wipe him out, but, uh, I guess one can escape to bring news of our success. All right, so I guess I'll wait until these uh, obstacles are taken down before we move into the warehouses. Oh, the naming of objectives kind of seems all over the place. We got warehouses, we got India, we got Hill 71, we got Bauman's Farm. Where's my consistency, damn it. I also just want to check one thing. I set the audio really high, and I wonder if that's decreasing the, uh... Oh, that's a little soft now, isn't it? Okay. <clears throat> oh, shit, I only got 16 minutes. Okay, uh, what do I got? I got Assault Engineers. All right, you guys are going in. Recon, I just hope you can see stuff. Okay, no one's taking any fire. I take this to be a good sign. So let's start uh, rolling up this uh, road here. All right, assault engineers, do your thing. If I get them out of the trucks, will they capture the area faster? Oh, Pixel saying time is of the essence, at least on the main objectives. The others give you more points to spend on stuff between battles. Okay, so where are the main objectives? I assume the ones with the Vs, right? Like this thing looks important. We got Wera East and Hill 71. Does that seem about right? So I take those two and I'm golden? Or do I need to take those two and then get to the next stage? Who can say? In any case, warehouses are mine. And looks like we're in the process of taking India. Nope, never mind, that's them. We're, well, I mean, these guys are advanced on India, so that's still kind of true. Zone there it is. All right, let's, uh... Where's my recon? Recon, recon. My recon is hiding. Hey, Memphis Bell, thanks for following. And Airmaster asking a question for you. What was the first strategy game you played that got you into the genre? Oh, boy. Um, there's two possible candidates. I am almost certain that my first RTS game, the one that really nailed it for me, was Total Annihilation. Um, I can't remember if I played the demo or the full thing, but uh, TA blew my mind. Oh, wait, we got some stuff up ahead here. Um, but the first one that I actually, like, really got into, um, after that was Command and & Conquer. And Command & Conquer just took over my life for a bit. I remember getting Tiberian Dawn for my birthday. That was a big deal. Oh, we just got, like, shitty AFVs here. That's fine. Oh, but they got rockets on them. That's no good. Miss. Miss, you bastards. All right, we're fine. Oh, yeah, there it is. Miss, please. Miss. Don't hit. Don't hit. Okay, we're fine. All right, let's get the re let's get recon up there. Let's move the tanks up. Let's get the riflemen up there as well. 
headquarters unit. Still don't know exactly what you do, but... Uh... Oh, wait, no, this seems important. Currently, its accuracy is 125, and its morale is 150. So is that the effect? I mean, we, we can check, right? So recon has 125, 115, 150. So presumably, it's going to lose some of that as soon as it exits the radius, right? Yes, okay, its accuracy and its morale went down. That's what the HQ trucks do. Good work, everybody. Let's also get those assault engineers back, because they seem to be uh, quite good at their jobs. The narrator saying, the martyr is not a shitty AFV. Well, I'm sure you have your own agenda. I don't know if we can trust you on this. Also got to bring up that artillery. They are kind of lagging behind, aren't they? How are the rest of our gang doing? Oh, not well. There used to be a lot more... Uh, Green units over here. Okay, well, what can he do? Okay, Recon is not seeing jack shit. Apart from some tank traps up ahead. Alright, well, if nothing's uh, here, let's... Uh, let's advance, shall we? Where are them uh, engineers at? <clears throat> right there, great. HQ will get you up there as well. Okay, I think I'm, I'm liking my chances here. I'm, I'm not seeing much of anything. Oh wait, what do we got? We got tanks. We got, uh, what are those, leopards? Yeah. But, uh, fewer leopards than there used to be. Oh, shit, we got artillery. Okay. Zone captured. Oh, we captured something. Uh, oh, the good folks took Hill 124. That's what you'd like to see. All right, as per standard procedure, we'll move up the recon. Let's also get these uh, artillery pieces up there, or the mortars, I should say. Pixel 464 saying, on the left side, you have your tactical support options. Yeah, I just, I haven't seen the need form quite yet. I mean, as soon as that giant counterattack gets here, maybe we bring in the TBM strike, right? But uh, right now, everything seems pretty decent. Stage advanced condition, secure and exit zone, victory points. So far, zero? I would have thought I should have 30, shouldn't I? Okay, but I took Wera East, and we took Hill... Oh, and we gotta take Hill 71. Okay, so that's gonna mean advancing across this forest area. That seems uh, potentially dangerous. We're gonna need to recon. All right, get me up there, recon boyos. They're too busy breaking this uh, tank trap in the middle of nowhere. Not a big deal, guys. You could have just gone around, but uh, whatever. I'm going to assume I could bring in units at any point, right? I don't necessarily have to bring in stuff here. Or I guess the points with... Um, these arrow icons probably mean that. Okay. Recon, what are you doing? Okay, we got guys in the hills. We got martyrs. German infantry fighting vehicles. They're shooting smoke at me. Or white phosphorus. Hey, McKenzie281, thanks for resubscribing. Very much appreciated. Continue to enjoy those emotes. God, 12 months. Hell yeah. Thank you kindly. Alright. 
I think we gotta make a rush for it, because <clears throat> we don't have all the time in the world, do we? Damn, I do have quite a lot of points I could bring in here. Uh, what's good? T-72? Yeah, let's bring in the East Germans here. I could use some more expendable armor. Ah, the narrator answering a question I had earlier. The tactical ballistic missile, aka a scud strike. So that's what TBM stands for. All right, good to know. When we see a nut we can't crack, that's what we're bringing uh, it in on. Sorry if my voice is uh, wavering on me here. I got a bit of a cold, or at least I'm recovering from one. All right, Martyr, eat shit, please. There we go. All right, BMPs, get up there. I don't care if you're suppressed. Who the hell's shooting at us? What's wrong with these guys? What's that X mean? Oh, they're suppressed? Maybe? Nope, I just didn't move them up enough. Okay, good to know. Oh, we got a Gepard. Okay, that's bad. Oh, no, okay, took it out easy enough, great. Oh, what do we got over here? We got question marks. Oh, we got more leopards, okay. Gotta bring up some tanks. And what the hell is shooting at us from over here? Probably artillery, I'd imagine. Okay, but my my tanks are on the way. In fact, maybe we make a play for India. Try to flank these jerks. That's the... <laughs> oh, sorry. That's what the T-55s are going to do. The T-72s are going to continue on route. Fast move to there. Julius Kaiser asking, Mark, are you playing as Chengatai? That is a negative, playing as the Soviet Union. Although, really, what's the difference? Shit, recon's taking hits. Don't like that. Ugh, these T-64s are about to buy it. Where are my T-55s at? Five minutes? Oh my god, I'm not gonna make it. Is that recon coming in? Okay. Hopefully there's not much left after this. All right, assault engineers, I'm counting on you. Hill 71, let's go. What is that shooting at me? It's gotta be artillery. Artillery, artillery that we need to get the hell out of the way of. Into the forest, guys. Hill 71. Let's go. Let's go. T-72s versus Martyrs. Surely we're going to come out all right on this one. Oh, damn. The T-55s got taken out.
That infantry is kind of tearing me up. Come on, tanks. Give me a give me a break here. Three minutes. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, let's bring in the missile strike. Damn it, there go my T-64s. I have should have brought in a lot more stuff, I guess. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Rifleman? That's all I can really... Hey, that missile did something. Shit, there it goes. I am dead. I got a feeling I'm gonna be giving this another shot in just a second. Probably should have advanced from this side of the map. That's what I'm gonna try next time. Because I don't think they're going to get there in 1 minute 15 seconds. One minute remaining. I know, give me a break. Come on, I know these things can go faster than this. All right, artillery, it's up to you. Goddamn martyrs. Seven seconds. No. Is there going to be like a A for effort kind of thing? Objective completed. Shit. Yeah, we lost a lot on this one. I'm going to try this again. I think I can do better. Although it did. It was interesting that it didn't seem to necessarily lose. That was just the end of the first phase, maybe. Maybe I shouldn't have tried to restart that. Okay, whatever. I'll, I can do better. A recon, T-64s, assault engineers, and mortars. And then maybe on this side of things, we try to help out the allies a bit with the T-64s. T-72s, riflemen, maybe some more riflemen on this side as well. I didn't see any NATO aircraft, so I think we might be safe there. And level 52 Grant asking, is this kind of like the Eugen games? Yeah, I think this is a competitor to uh, War Game Red Dragon. Um, at the start of the stream we were talking, there's three contenders, I think. There's, uh, oh, what's that, uh, War Warno? Uh, this game, Regiments, and Broken Arrow. Alright, this time we're gonna try, like, the really fast maneuver. We'll see how this... 
goes for us. Yeah, Warno is out in uh, just a couple weeks, I think. I'm looking forward to giving that a go. Once again, I'm advancing with the artillery. That's some good work, Mark. Okay, what's going on over here? All right, that's looking a bit better, I think, right? Well, those are just M113s. Come on, we can take these suckers out. What are we doing? I've also got aircraft coming in. That's good. Do they have much in the way of anti-tank stuff? I hope not. Oh yeah, there we go. Am I doing better this time? I really can't tell. And what's happening on this side of things? Let's get the tank advance going. Advance up to the tree line. We've also got some tanks in the center. Is, is this going to be a good opportune moment for my TBM strike? I think so. There's tanks there. Tanks are hard to kill. Let's try it out. <clears throat> Can we break? Okay, assault engineers are through. Let's get him into the warehouses. My missile's coming in. Kablam! Hopefully there's something else in there that I killed and not just one tank. Alright, assault engineers, get in there. Uh, BMP2s also get in there. Recon, yep, you too. All right, something's over there. Oh, uh, shit. All right, let's suppress those people, please. This seems like a good moment for an artillery barrage. Gotta hope the timing works out. Artillery might not be too good against tanks, though. That's gonna have to... Okay, they're suppressed. I'll take it. Can't help but notice I don't have many tanks anymore. Man, the AI is acting very differently this time around. 
All right, I have no recon on this side of things. Uh, I should probably bring some in if I can. Nope. Oh, wait. Okay, I can bring in one. They're heading for the artillery. That's no good. I need more points. How do I get more points? Okay, but we got the warehouses. Now we just gotta get this place. And I have a lot less than last time. Air Master saying it's getting smarter. It's low, or it's learning your tactics. Is it? Or did I just screw up more? Either seems likely. Oh, hey, but I got some points. Okay, that's badly needed. Uh, next chance I get, let's bring in some T-64s if I can. And then I'll make a play for Hill 71. All right, bringing in T-64s. And then next chance I get, some riflemen. Nobody's shooting these uh, recon BRDMs, so... Oh, never mind, spoke too soon. They got artillery and they got whatever that is. They got tanks. All right, back in the tree line there, folks. Back in the tree line. All right, what's happening over here? Uh, reinforcements are coming in. These things are stuck on tank traps. I feel like they could have just gone around, but what do I know? And we're going to bring in some riflemen. I wish I had HQ. Seems like my accuracy is pretty bad. Okay, why is why is this still alive? Can't stress enough how much I think those should be dead. Okay, bit of movement over there, that's something. Assault engineers, I'm counting on you. Let's get you up to the tree line. Tanks, cover. Okay, these things need to figure out their priorities. Don't go through every single tank trap, please. Just go here and there. There we go. <clears throat> All right, let's try to take out those leopards as best we can. Assault engineers. Still nothing. BMP-2 arrived. Whereabouts? Or was that an older thing? Oh, 
Oh, I can also call in another artillery barrage. That's going to be helpful in a second, I think. All right, assault engineers, this is on you. I want to see some hustle out there. Now let's get the T-64s up as well. The artillery can just kind of hang back. All right, taken, we are at east. And we're within spitting distance of Hill 71. Except, God, these tanks are taking fire. That's bad. This looks kind of important. Now we'll call down some artillery and hopefully that's not a giant mistake. I feel like I gotta keep these tanks moving because they are taking some hits. Okay, we are at east. That's good. Is there like a traffic jam going on here? I need you guys to move up, please. Okay, they're stuck on each other. That's no good. Come on. I really need you guys not to get killed by artillery right now. Oh, you idiots. All right, well, if you're not going to move, get out of your vehicles and start shooting, please. That's kind of frustrating. I don't, don't know what the hell was going on there. And I'm out of everything. Oof, and now we got this stuff. Okay, time to artillerize. Hopefully the assault engineers can deal with this. I'm really counting on these guys. I feel like I'm in the exact same situation as last time. Come on, assault engineers, take him out. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Advance under artillery. Damn, I wish my allies had more stuff. Oh, I can bring in stuff. Okay, let's give us another shot. T-64s and riflemen. All right, cool. Got to pay attention when those uh, resources come in. Advance under cover of smoke, please. Five minutes remaining. Yeah, I know.
All right, take out those leopards. Come on. Uh, Pog City asking, when does this take place? I'm guessing the 80s since there's BMP2s. Uh, this would be 1989. So I imagine at higher uh, tiers, we're going to see T-80s and stuff as well. Okay, we only got three minutes. We might just have to make a run for it. <clears throat> we'll see how that goes for us. As soon as something starts shooting, I'm going to call down the artillery barrage. How is that leopard still alive? Come on. Oh, here we go. Just get in there, all possible speed. Oh, yeah, there's the barbed wire again. God damn it. Come on, guys. Artillery is coming in, <clears throat> but also some friendly artillery in just a second here. I'm taking more hits than I'm inflicting, though. But I've almost taken Hill 71 and Hill 99. Taking all the hills. Oh, we got enemy aircraft coming in. Oh, this is going to hurt me. Okay, but we got it. For how much longer, I have no idea. Oh, shit. Taking hits here, too. Too many hits, too many hits. One minute remaining. Okay, but I got both things. So that's gotta give me points or something, right? Oh, the narrator's saying, that's time for phases, not actual time you have. Though finishing faster means the enemy doesn't have the opportunity to get better units. After each phase, you get access to new units and regiments. Ah, okay. I wish I knew that my first go, but uh, hey, live and learn. And I did take both uh, things this time, so maybe it's good that I redid it. But in 15 seconds, we'll find out. And just in case, I'm going to smoke myself. All right, victory point 60, objective controlled 7. We lost four more dudes than NATO. Yeah, overall, though, we took about 20 more losses. Hey, but we killed more vehicles and more airplanes. Hell yeah. Man, those uh, assault engineers cleaned up. All right, next phase. What do we got? 
Da -da 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 -da. Like, should I just, can I keep what I have or wait, what I just do? what I just do? I can upgrade stuff. Did anyone else know about this? I can upgrade this to level. Okay. Oh shit. I didn't know this. This is awesome. Oh, damn. That's cool. I've been playing this all wrong. So each battle group can be upgraded to different uh, levels. At different levels, they get better stuff. Got it. Okay. So at level two, I get uh, SU-22 times two napalm plus, uh, okay, nothing, nothing much aside from that. Here, my T-72s, I get double the T-72s plus Strela 10s. These guys get me... Okay, BRDM2s, BMD2s, known as S. Okay, I want rock. Oh, wait, I can get MI24s. That might be the way to do this. And then I read her saying, oh, that's just for skirmish. Oh, okay, so. But either way, I mean, I'm, I'm not dead, right? Like, I still advance the next round. Although, would I, I advance to the next round if I hadn't taken both objectives? In any case, can I get MI24s? Yes, I can. That seems really cool. I kind of want to try this again with armored units, see if I could get like T-80s and shit. That would be, that'd be pretty sweet. That's interesting. Oh, I could also get, okay, I didn't know about any of this shit. Okay, this is why, uh, you know, I'm, I'm learning. I can also upgrade this stuff. So I can get f more supplies. I can get more tactical support, more tactical, uh, tactical support. Seems good. I'm really digging this. This is uh, deeper than I anticipated. All right, let's uh, see what's up. And uh, Mad Cabal saying, yeah, uh, your army is about to rest on its hind legs. Damn straight, kind of, if I take your meaning correctly. Uh, divisional, actually. What is the benefit of selecting enemy battle group? Or am I even selecting stuff? But I'll do extra artillery again, because that seemed to be useful last time. Okay. So what's happening this time around? New objective received. Now, is this just the same map? Uh, yes, it is. Okay, cool. <clears throat> And I can still only call stuff in from the very back. Oh, and it's actually like kept all my stuff deployed where it was. That's interesting. So that's the benefit of doing better. You get to keep more of your shit. Got it, got it, got it. Well, let's bring in some Heinz for God's sakes. And, uh... Another HQ, some T-64s, and I guess that's all I can afford. Uh, yeah, okay. So, what's my objective this time around? Oh, just secure an exit zone? Well, there's one right there, so I'm going to advance on this side of the map. Cool. Advance into the city, please. God, I love a good hind. That is what's up. Not sure. Okay, gotta pull these guys back, I think. Actually, you know what? Maybe I can keep this position. We'll just uh, bunker down. Come on, shoot some RPGs that way, please. 
Oh, hey, got one. As for my assault engineers, let's get them up here. What am I guys doing over here? Room for improvement. Asmadius uh, plays asking, "What game is this? This is uh, Regiments. Um, if you're familiar with uh, War Game and War Game Red Dragon and all that good stuff, this is kind of a competitor to that." And so far, I'm really digging it. It's bringing some uh, new stuff to the genre that I appreciate. Not necessarily in the minute-to-minute uh, -minute gameplay, but rather in the uh, strategic level stuff in between missions. Like the way you bring in units is kind of interesting. I kind of wonder how it's going to work in Skirmish, if it's going to be more of a direct copy to War Game. Ooh, what do we got over here? All right, Assault Engineers, save my ass. All right, rockets coming in. Hopefully that stuff stays there. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Eat shit, West German dogs. And did they both get out? I think they did. I'm a real sucker for when uh, UI elements, like HUD elements, appear on the in, in the game like that. Like the way that uh, that plane had uh, the little um, unit insignia, or I or uh, I don't know what you would call it, some sort of insignia over top of it. I think it looks really cool. Uh, Dogs2018 asking, do you get a choice of sides? Uh, I'm playing the play test, like the very brief demo they put out, and in this you can only play as the Soviets. Uh, in the full game, you can play as either side, although why you'd want to bother, I don't know. The Soviets are where it's at. Assault Engineers, how we doing? Now oh, they're hanging in there. Sigle these tanks, please. How did we do? We only took out a couple. And Tara Crea Tark Iron Hand, I wanna say. Thanks for thanks for following. Welcome to the Institute. Oh, these assault engineers are gonna buy it, and that sucks because they were my guys last time. Alright, but uh we got fish to fry, so let's start scouting things out here. Do I have any recon? Did I bring in recon? I sure I didn't. Okay, that's no good. Recon is very important. Okay, uh, so far nothing's shooting at me. <clears throat> oh, oh, what do we got? We're just going to bring in some missiles this time. Also, I need to resupply these helicopters. 
Can they resupply back in the uh, starting zone? Who can say? There it is. All right, now I'm moving, boyos. And we'll get some smoke there just in case. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They're counterattacking. I don't know they could do that. This is an outrage. Bring in the helicopters. Shit. All right, Heinz, you better uh, save my ass here. Yep, there goes one. There goes two. There go three, or did the other one just disappear? All right, I think we, I think we're good. But I still gotta uh, get more ammo into these things. Okay, and what's happening over here? Ooh, I wish they didn't turn around. SU-25 rockets, let's go. And also let's bring in some more T-72s. Man, bring in an aircraft against M113 seems like such a waste. Especially since that didn't really do much. Oh my god, that's an outrage. Okay, man, I have had my helicopters out of position for this entire time. I gotta... Alright, main ammo is at 46%. And... Oh, no, okay, 50... Okay, there we go. So it does... Get resupplied. Okay, that's good. I want more assault engineers. I also want... I'd love to bring in, um... Mortars. They were helpful last time. And recon as soon as I can afford it. And then we should be okay. God, they're getting stuck on tank traps again. <laughs> this is the, there's a big wide open field out there, guys. At least I can queue up orders. That's very helpful. All right, let's bring the helicopters back up to the front there. We'll sort this out right quick. I could also make a play for the valley. But surely I'm going to get shot immediately, right? Okay, no one's shooting at me yet. Okay, stuff's on the way. We're actually taking the valley. I guess NATO just gave up on that one. Wonder if I can take Bauman's farm. Apparently this is a uh, important tactical location. Ah shit, what's happening here? Oh, my helicopter's coming in, great. Zone captured. 
Come on. You can take out some troop transports. Yeah, there we go. Oh god, they're shooting back. There, I think they're scattering. They're totally scattering. Okay, here we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Or rockets. Damn, did my assault engineers take some hits on the way in? How'd that happen? Counterattack, eh? Well, uh, shit. Oh, Operation Capture Bowman's Farm didn't work. Okay. I need a drink. Oh, God, this is stressful. There we are. All right. So we got whatever zone this is. Now we got this place. Recon is not seeing shit, but that's not a great indicator. Let's send in the T-72s and this nearly dead T-64. At 1% durability. Maybe not. Oh, here we go. A lot of tanks here. I think this is time for rockets. <laughs> SU-22 is coming in. Let's see some good hits, please. I said good hits. I guess rockets aren't really effective against tanks. That's on me. But if anything, we'll disorient them. And the Hinds are out of ammo. Okay, so back to here they go. I'd love to get these assault engineers into the forest and then flank them. I think that'll work. <clears throat> Let's also bring in, how about some T-55s? I know, I'm trying. All right, charging time. Let's go. Oh, damn, there's even more tanks there.
The engineers are taking him out, though. Same with the artillery. Oh, they're suppressed. Yeah, that probably is to be expected. Come on, T-72s, I need you to do this for me. Can the 1% T-64 manage to get a kill? That'll be something. Taking him out. Hell yeah. And there it is, taking the taking the zone. Hell, yes. I'm a genius. And let's bring the helicopters back in. Oh, what was that? Oh, we got an enemy aircraft. Okay. <clears throat> Man, and that, that T-64 is hanging in there. Good, good on them. T-55s taking their sweet time. There it is. Is there anything else I really need to do here? I mean, I could try to take some extra points, right? But, uh, doesn't seem too necessary. Dogs2018 saying good work. Thank you. At least we get to watch these helicopters fly in, looking all badass. One minute remaining. All right. The army's all here. I guess I can put them in like more favorable positions, perhaps. I don't know if like the map opens up after this or what happens after the next stage, but couldn't hurt to expect a counterattack, I guess, right? T-55s slowly making their way. Oh, and these are East German T-55s. Okay, that's cool. Good for them. All right, 10 seconds till victory, God willing. Unless I misjudged something and I'm about to uh, lose here. All right. We did well this turn, or this game, this phase. Tactical strikes, apparently. <laughs> okay. Next phase. I guess we're just still moving on the Air Force base. Got it. But we got 200 operational authority. So let's upgrade these German tanks. Let's upgrade the headquarters unit so we can get some napalm. And let's upgrade the East German tank force so we get more T-72s and anti-air. And with the stuff that's left over, I don't know. Uh... <clears throat> 
used to place obstacles and strong points. Well, we're advancing, so we don't really need that. How about... Tactical support. More of that. Alright. Here we go. New objective received. I can't tell but notice we haven't captured some of these points behind the front line. Stage advanced conditions, secure an exit zone. Okay. So I guess we'll just move into the center here, try to capitalize on the gains. What do I want? I want, uh, let's bring in the T-72s, the Strellas, and that's all we can afford. All right. So let's get one T-72 over there, one T-72 over here, and the Strellas in the middle. These guys. They're in an awful position. Let's get them into the trees here. As for stuff over here, I don't know exactly what to do. Let's get the recon up here. We'll see if we can't move against Solgrund Grove, I suppose. Oh, T-72 is driving right into the tank traps. Okay, they can get rid of those. I'm not going to wait around. And that T-64 is all healed up. I'd like to see that. Okay, so we're going to advance from this point here to Sulgrund Grove, and then on to the next stage point over here, I reckon. Meanwhile, T-72 is going to advance from the rear, take these points that we've kind of ignored. And God willing, everything will be fine. Recon is seeing jack shit. So let's send the recon up further. Airmaster saying, but what if you need those tanks? I mean, I'm not going to uh, keep them there. As soon as they capture those those places, we'll move them up to the front. But for now, I just want to capture them. Get them extra points. And I don't know. I don't think NATO has much left. Maybe we just knocked them out a lot during those previous two phases. Because I am not seeing much. Oh, area recon. That seems to be exactly what we want here. So let's check out what's over here. Oh, just some mechanized. Okay, we are looking real good then. Okay, we're capturing Hill 99. Oh, 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 shit! Spoke too soon. We got a counterattack happening here. What do I do? What do I do? Uh, tactical ballistic missile strike. Yeah. Right here. Stop. I need you guys to stop. Stop. 10 seconds. Oh, shit. The gun bit's going to miss. Zone lost. Three, two, one. Oh, is it going to do anything? Probably not. Oh, okay. Still got some hits on. I'll take it. All right. Where's those T-72s at?
Oh, Strellas, come on. Do your thing. This is what you're here for. All right, this took a bit of a, a bit of a turn. <laughs> Airmaster saying, "Don't underestimate the bot." Yeah, apparently I shouldn't have because that counterattack took me by surprise. Okay, what's this stuff? This is uh, okay. That's anti-tank shit. So let's. Uh, I don't know. Let's see what Napalm does against tanks. <laughs> Man, we also got a lot of shit happening here. All right, helicopters, I really need you to earn this. Yeah, Napalm doing some damage. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's call in some SU-22s. All right, helicopters need to get out of there because they are taking some hits. And I do not want to lose them. Okay, what can I bring in? Let's bring in uh, whew, some riflemen. That was a brutal counterattack. God damn. Hey, the recon's doing some work. I like that. What about these T-72s? Let's send this one up and if it gets killed, we'll know not to do that. Killing something over there, okay. I think we dished out more than we took. I think I feel good about that. <clears throat> Hopefully these helicopters regain their durability at home base, because uh, otherwise we might be in trouble. 52 durability, 32 ammo. Are either of those going to go up? Yes, they both are. Hell yeah. Okay, so uh, what else can I bring in? We could bring in VDV. Huh. I assume that they're pretty good, these paratroopers. Yeah, let's bring in the Air Force. Let's also do some more aerial recon, see what they got here. Hopefully not much is left. Yeah, in fact, they got nothing. Or the recon plane missed something. All right, taking this place. That's good. Time to move up the recon elements then, see what's out there. And helicopters are back up to full strength. All right, let's get them in here. Ah, 
All right. Still not seeing much. This is looking good. Zone capture. Oh, we got tanks. Right here in River City. And they start with T and that rhymes with P and that stands for pool. Let's bring in the S-22s. There it is. Tastes like Tufu saying, roll on to Bond, comrade. Hell yeah. I tell you, we are well on our way. It does feel like having uh, artillery is very helpful. Not necessarily for doing damage, but just to keep their enemy vehicles kind of rattled, you know? And having my rapid reaction helicopters is also uh, pretty sweet. Hell yeah. All right. Let's bring in the nape. Enjoy it, you West German dogs. Yeah, that'll do just fine. Although, what the hell is shooting me? Okay, they can't have much left, so I think we can roll into the next stage uh, phase line here. God willing. Oh, what do we got? More anti-tank vehicles. Okay. Yep, there they go. I'm guessing they got artillery over there somewhere. But that's someone else's problem for now. The important thing is that I'm still alive. Actually, let's do area recon around here. That's where it looked like that was coming from. Oh, yeah, they do. Okay. I think the helicopter is going to be best against that. I'd love if I could get eyes on them, though. Where the hell do they go? All right, we're just going to have to hope they don't have a lot of AA. Zone 
There it is. Out in the open. Now the real objective. Bauman's farm. And with that, we'll have everything. I think I've nailed this. I think I am dominating. Well, the thing's shooting at me. I think we can actually try speeding this up, maybe. Airmaster saying, don't celebrate just yet. Yeah, that got me into trouble last time. All right, we're not gonna... We're not gonna mess around here. We'll take it nice and slow. Although Recon still hasn't seen anything. Rifleman, get in there. Oh, and the VDV never even made it to the front. All right, we'll fix that. Get up there, please. All right, if I was worried about a counterattack, what would I do? I'd probably put these guys up here. The T-64 there. The T-72's here. The T-72 is there. Estrella will get back here. The VDV will put in these... Bushes over here. The anti-air is going to go back here. Recon I want up there. Zone Rifleman will get in the tree line here. Total domination. That's what I like to hear. All right. Hell yeah. So what does this get me? Next phase. Now we're moving against the hornet's nest, I suppose. Don't know what that means. But I got 250 operational authority. Hell yeah. So let's bring... Uh, more napalm strikes. Not necessarily sure what rally is, but we got that. And 100 bucks to spend on engineer support. I want to see what that does. All right. Oh, shit. I see how this works. You got to pick your card you want. Okay, so now I'm left for this one. Okay, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Okay, I get this game. You select a card you want each phase, but you got to pick the bad cards at some point, so... Although, I think that kind of worked out. I think I chose the best. Oh, we're on a different uh, map now. And there's the airbase. Interesting. Well, where's the best route there? I mean, all the V points are kind of clustered around here. All right, we'll move on Valley East and then push in through to the warehouses in Exdorf, I guess. I wish I had allies helping me out here. All right, so let's start with my recon platoons that I love so much. An HQ platoon. Some T-64s. Some Strellas, because we're right next to an airbase. Some riflemen. And around here, we'll do some... Riflemen. T-72s. Artillery. Artillery on this side as well. Oh, I should have brought in the helicopters. Okay, we'll save up for the helicopters. Tastes like Tofu saying, you are your own ally. Yeah, but I don't trust me. What does Rally do? Oh, so did they just fight better? Okay. Let's 
get everyone up there. On this side of the map, we're going to be mostly defensive. Okay, so far so good. This is the worst part. The calm before the battle. I wish I had my recon ability. That would be helpful. Okay, what's happening over here? We are shooting somebody. Bring in some rockets. Let's uh, try to save these riflemen if we can. Modder's taking some hits. Redirect the artillery. Okay, so... So far, so good. We're about to take Charlie. Doug's 2018 saying, Thanks for the interesting stream. Hope the, re the rest of the stream is fun for you. Yeah, thank you for joining me. Have a good night. Alright, Martyr. Prepare to die. Faster, please. There we go. Okay, that's almost done there. Hey, tastes like tofu. Thanks for the bits. Very much appreciated. Saying for streaming this upcoming game. Hell yeah. I hope you're enjoying it. I think this uh, this game is doing some neat stuff. I'm really into it. Not sure if I should make a play for Bravo. I don't feel like I can make it, but you never know. Well, let's see what happens if I move the tanks up. If they get shot at, we'll know that was a bad idea. Oh, okay, we got some stuff up here. Let's uh, napalm those suckers. It's nice being able to call in air support. That's very helpful. Oh shit, they've zeroed in on my artillery. Get out of there, boyos. Phase events are playing out. Does that mean enemy counterattacks inbound? That could be bad. Tastes like Tofu saying, uh, reminds me a bit of uh, World in Conflict. I really dug World in Conflict. We streamed the uh, campaign earlier uh, last year, I think. And I've forgotten how, how well that game holds up. Oof, artillery's coming in. Okay, please shoot those guys.
Man, these crappy APCs are a lot more effective than I would have liked. Good artillery coming in from over here somewhere. I don't like that. Oh, shit. They're flanking me. Artillery, get out of there, please. T-64s, redeploy over here. That was unexpected. Zone captured. I mean, they're charging across the field into a tree line, so... They kind of deserve what they're what they're getting here. Still, I wish I had those helicopters. Ooh, looks like my T sixty fours are about to buy it. Don't like that. How much stuff do they have back here? Where did this all come from? Okay, this is bad. I need I need something here. There we go. I like seeing that. Okay, but I need to bring in something here. I need to bring in tanks. Ooh, they got a bunch of stuff there. That is a tempting target. Except they're moving in. Where the hell are they gonna end up? All right, hopefully in 20 seconds they're in that town. This might work out perfectly. Two, one. Got something. Got quite a lot of somethings. But uh, this is pushing me back a bit. Gonna have to get back to the tree line. This artillery is also kind of out of position. Let's move that up here. Support the center. VDV up to this tree line. These guys are going to protect my flank. And helicopters? Yes, let's bring them in. And BMP-2s or anti-air. Haven't really seen much in the way of... Yeah, BMP-2s. Well, here they are. 
Let's get some air support. Uh, they're charging across. I don't know what to do here. Okay. Uh, what are they doing? Are they settling in? Nope. They're coming across. We're annihilating him. Okay. This is going well. Where's my helicopters at? Oh, perfect. 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 Man, those flanking units are saving my ass. Oh no, I lost a plane. That sucks. Blake Mock saying hi. Welcome to the stream, buddy. We are just in the midst of a uh, West German counterattack being annihilated. We took some losses, but they took way more. And now I can bring in more riflemen. <clears throat> that worked out perfectly, and I don't think they have anything left in that forest. So let's uh, bring in the paratroopers. Let's bring in everybody. Should have used that rally ability. That would have been a good moment, but I forgot I had it. Lake Mock saying, "Sorry, you probably got this a lot, but where's Mars?" Uh. Between Earth and the asteroid belt, last I heard. Unless you're talking about something else, in which case I have no idea. Alright, VDV, save my ass here. Almost take it down. Almost, almost down. The T seventy twos are panicking. Can you blame them? And they're down. Okay, great. Let's get these refinement up here. The artillery we can move up as well. Where my helicopters at? They are chilling back here. That's good. <clears throat> I think we can make a real play for Erksdorf. In fact, I'm just going to rush in because it's not that far away. So far, so good. Oh, those guys again. They've been... Pain in the ass this entire game, okay. I think we're in a good position to finally take him out, though. Yep, there they go. Some airstrikes to seal the deal. I notice Erksdorf is locked, probably because I got to take Valley East first. Okay, that's on me. But only now do I recognize that's the thing I got to do. All right, over there we go. <clears throat> Let's maybe keep pushing while the going's good. Like, they can't have that much stuff, right? Oh, they got something. Five minutes remain. They got a bunch of somethings. Oh, 
Oh shit, big counterattack. Okay, this is on me. Oh, an aircraft too. Oh shit, they're coming out of everywhere. Helicopters, where are you at? I need you over here. Come on, Heinz, do your thing. There we go. Oh, nice. Two birds with one stone on that one. Time to napalm the town. Ooh, just barely holding it. Okay, Heinz, I need you over here, please. Oh, and they have veterans seat up. I don't know exactly what that gets them, but uh, can't hurt. Tin Can Pop saying, this looks a lot like another game I've played, which name escapes me at the moment. Probably thinking of war game. This is uh, kind of a competitor to that. Okay, blunted the counterattack, but uh, took a lot of hits on that one. That was rough. Zone captured. I keep forgetting to dismount my infantry too. That's going to cost me. <clears throat> Oh, but we took this place. Oh, okay. I wasn't even paying attention. That's great. One less thing to worry about. Those helicopters got way too close. Because they're out of missiles. Okay, back to the base, folks. Uh, tin pops say, or a tin can pops saying, uh, uh, so what are the main differences? Um... In the actual battles themselves, the differences aren't that severe, but in between missions, it's very interesting. You bring in battle groups rather than individual units, and each battle group can be upgraded over the course of uh, numerous phases to get special abilities and better units. So each battle, actually, like, we're on phase one of many, I think. So, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but uh, the way campaigns work seems really cool. This is why I'm not a game reviewer, because I can barely explain stuff. But I need more tanks. And maybe recon. Oh, but I can't bring on any more, because I'm almost completely out. Alright, Rathman it is. Hey, and thanks for following, uh, Tin Ken Pops. Welcome to the Institute. Let's bring out some more VDV, because they were pretty cool. Alright, so those folks are coming in. They're holding down the fort over here. Did I dismount, guys? Or is it... Okay, there we go. That's where I want them to be. Uh, so, Tin Can, in about one minute, this phase is going to end. And yeah, see, I just said that. And uh, you'll see kind of the main difference here where um, I'll get a chance to kind of continue the, the the battle from a refreshed point of, uh, I don't know, you'll, you'll see. Things will refresh. I'll get a chance to resume the push, but with uh, revitalized units. And basically the more points you take in each phase, the better you're gonna do overall. Airmaster saying I would grab AA just in case. Yeah. Couldn't hurt. Let's bring out some Strellas. I 
Man, I want to take Erksdorf. It's just sitting there. It's so tempting. Yeah, let's make a play for it. Erksdorf, you're mine, baby. Nope. I forgot about the face thing. All right, so... Oh, God. A lot of wounded on our end. Eh, that's rough. Nearly twice as many casualties. But I got 225 operational authority. So let's... Uh... Oh, is everybody fully upgraded? Okay, so so much for that. Let's do deployment points. Let's bring on more stuff. Plus more tactical support. Oh boy, okay. And we got some cards. I mean, let's get rid of some of these, uh, these bad ones first, right? Electronic warfare, we'll, we'll get rid of that one first. Oh, look at that. It's night. Okay, who do I want to bring in? Let's bring in some T-72s, please. Oh, and they're right at the start. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, so I want recon redeployed here. I want riflemen right there. The helicopters can stay where they are. Let's get... Uh, our main line in this forest here. And we're going to make a real play for Erksdorf. Tin can pop saying, okay, I need to check this out. It looks cool. Yeah, it's good. It's also uh, free on Steam right now. This is just the demo, so full game is out later in the year. All right, they're making a play for Langenstein. Oh, they're also doing shit on this side of things. Let's bring in rockets and hope the electronic warfare doesn't fuck me over too much. Oh, someone's shooting at him. He's panicking. Is he going to continue the sortie? Nope, he's out of there. Second guy's going to give it a shot, though. Oh, they got AA in the woods. Oh, you can do illumination rounds in the night. That's really goddamn cool. But I want a TBM strike right the fuck there. Hmm. Next time I get a uh, opportunity, I'm gonna bring in some actual artillery. None of these like mortar carriages I've been using so far. All right, prepare to eat shit, West Germany. Kablam! These Leopard 2s are really kicking my ass here. Hopefully the Heinz can sort that out. Yeah, you're panicking. I'd panic too. All right, let's get some smoke. Okay, they're just being rained on right now. All right, smoke's in. Let's uh, move on Erksdorf. And the artillery is just lighting those. Oh shit, what's up? What the hell is this? Okay. <clears throat> Something's coming at us. Oh, shoot, we got enemy tanks, but they're real close, and we got infantry, so this might not be the worst. Helicopters, where are you at? Get over there.
That illumination is really fucking cool. I don't think it was actually that common in 1989, though. Didn't they have... They must have had night vision by now. But uh, for gameplay purposes, I'm into it. Because that looks really awesome. All right, let's bring in some actual artillery. Some... 152 millimeter communism. Oh, fuck! Heinz taking a hit. Get the hell out of there. Race car driver saying 1989 Russians would have used IR searchlights. So not illumination rounds. Oh, we also got enemy helicopters. A uh, race car driver saying, well, both. Okay. Yeah, I, I would have thought that, like, illumination flares died out in, like, the 1950s. Uh... Race car driver saying, still used today. Oh, okay. Well, shows what I know. Level 52 Grant saying, nothing cool ever truly dies. Wise words. All right, let's move the recon. See what the hell's shooting at me. Let's move up the Strellas. Let's move up. Oh, my artillery's here. Great. The helicopters are repaired. Making very small amounts of progress on this one. But I am not seeing too much out there. All right, Ralphman, I hate to send you out there, but uh, I don't think there's anything at the warehouses. And I'm willing to bet your lives on it. But I got a 100 points. Can I bring in... I'll bring in some more riflemen, just in case I'm wrong. <laughs> so far, nobody's shooting at him. Race car driver asking, are the infantry dismounted? Now they are, or they're not. Nope, they are. It's uh, a little difficult to tell at the moment at this uh, build of the game. It's one thing I've noticed. Oh, somebody's shooting at him. Oh God, it's a mess. Okay, let's get some rockets in here. Oof, okay, that's where they're at. But my artillery has them locked in, right? Oh, right, there's anti-air in the hills. I forgot about that. All right, the Air Force is going in. That is to say the VDV, which is not really the Air Force. The, par the paratroopers. That smoke is probably pointless. It looked like they were already pretty covered. Oh, well, at least our guys don't know what's going on now. All right, that's cleared out. They've also got stuff over here. Well, let's napalm that general area. Oh, 
Oh yeah, we're gonna get these guys, right? Come on, tell me we're gonna hit one of these planes. Nope, neither. Okay, well, we tried. There's more AA over there. Okay, the VDV are doing their thing. Let's get all the goddamn artillery. No, so far this is... I mean, we're taking losses, but we're making progress. But boy, howdy, do I need to get recon up there. <clears throat> oh, shit, is that AA? No, that's just something... Just look like there's artillery over there, though. <clears throat> and Messiah's Rocket, thanks for following. Welcome to the Institute. All right, we need to get some artillery on these suckers, or I don't know what we're doing here. Come on. I want to see some good shots, guys. There we go. All right, Recon, find me some targets, please. Okay, we are running out of supply, so... I'm gonna bring in some supply. There they are. Shoot that thing, please. Man, those mortars don't do a lot of damage, but they really keep people's heads down. That's, uh... I'm liking that. Oh, and the MI-24 is out of ammo. Back to base you go. Come on, almost there. There we go. Done. Now the real question, can I make a play for the airfield? I'd love to try. Hey, race car driver. Thanks for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Five months, hell yeah. Oh, hey, we got some warthogs on the ground. We should blow them up because uh, those are expensive. I'm liking this though, about to take the first bit of the airfield. We got the supply trucks coming in. What is the uh, range on these suckers? Like, are they always in range? In which case, maybe I should send them back here so they are getting ammo from the spawn point. Zone captured. 
And speaking of, how are my helicopters doing? They are back up to speed. There we go. I'm really not seeing much on this side of the map. Oh, no, here we go. Got something over there. The artillery is going to uh, knock it around. Ooh, that's some heavy artillery. All right, time to get out of there. I've also got something there. Okay. I need more tanks. But I'm running out of tanks. So I'm going to bring in more BMPs, I guess. What else can I do? They're not running, are they? That means let's try some rockets. Level 52 Grant saying, thanks for being a chill time. I'll be sure to check out more streams. Good night, homies. Good night. Have a good one. Thanks for uh, dropping by. Oof, five minutes, eh? Okay. Is my artillery back to base yet? Nope, but it's on the way. Come on, give me some hits. I mean, we're getting hits, give me some kills. Oh shit, helicopter's taking some, some fire. Are they shooting artillery at my helicopters? That seems kind of strange. Oh, come on, guys. They're in the open. Oh, they're out of their ammo. Okay, time to get back to base. And speaking of, can those guys hit stuff from there? What's their range looking like? Okay, they're not firing yet. Zone lost. Which zone? Oh shit, they're moving on that side of things. Okay. Okay, but the artillery does have a super long range, so no need to move it up, like, as far as I've been doing. That's good to know. Hopefully they're hitting something. Oh, nope, they're right there. Okay. You can probably stop firing there, champs. <clears throat> Unsupported leopards in an urban environment. That was not a smart move. Okay, I need recon, but I'm out of recon, so let's bring in more riflemen. Man, I'm very thankful these helicopters are, have been kept alive because they are uh, 
Saving my ass all over the place. And if we're being honest, I've taken the best part of the airfield, right? Like, I got the conning tower, I got the... Is it the conning tower? I've got the traffic control tower. I got all the warthogs. I got the parking lot. So... Yeah. They're welcome to have the gas station. And this tree line. Let's dismount the VDB, please. If there is anyone to dismount, are they all dead? Oh, they're all dead. Zero to 17. Okay, well, that's bad. One minute remaining. Can I take airport south in one minute? I think so. Okay. Probably they're bringing up the supplies too a little uh, a little late, but uh hey, what can you do? Half this stuff's almost out of ammo. Look at that, got the zone. Objective completed. Okay. And you know what? I think we're actually gonna call it there, folks. So let's, I think it's saved. Yeah, operation state saved. Let's bring back the old HUD. Alrighty, so that was Regiments, or at least the Regiments playtest full game coming out sometime later this year. And I'm looking forward to it. I think this is a strong contender to seize the crown of uh, War Game, Red Dragon. But of course, uh, that other one, Warno, God, what a weird name. That's almost uh, out too, so we'll see. In any case, I'm sure we'll play the full thing when it's out and we'll stream it here. Ah, but in the meantime, even though today is done, the stream and don't stop. We'll be back on Wednesday for Star Trek Armada, playing through the uh, campaign, currently on the Klingon section. Then Friday for Halo Wars, playing through the uh, campaign there as the UNSC. And then Saturday, playing Empire at War, uh, a Clone Wars mod for that. Last week, we played as the uh, Confederacy of Independent Systems, and I think we're going to continue that. So, until then, thanks for being here, and uh, we're going to catch you next time.